A NASA spacecraft phoned home today and gave us our first real glimpse of a frozen remnant of the earliest days of our solar system. Mark Strassman on why scientists are so excited. We've just accomplished the most distant flyby. A room full of people in Laurel, Maryland got something unusual today. The greatest long distance call in human history. That call traveled more than 4 billion miles, a radio signal from NASA's New Horizons spacecraft, flying past Ultimate Thule, a frozen world shaped like a bowling pin, a pristine relic from the dawn of time. I don't know about all of you, but um, I'm really liking this 2019 thing so far. <laughs> Alan Stern is the principal investigator for NASA's New Horizons project. The space probe, about the size of a baby grand piano, launched in 2006, sent back breathtaking photos of Pluto in 2015, then traveled deeper into the Kuiper belt for its flyby of Ultimate Thule. We chased it down from a billion miles away, more or less in the dark out there, and we crossed it at 32,000 miles an hour. Space scientists will release high-resolution photos tomorrow. Those photos and other data could teach scientists more about how planets like Earth were formed from smaller worlds like Ultima Thule, believed to be roughly as old as the solar system itself, four and a half billion years. This is an example of America on its game and people in our time doing things that are larger than life, that actually go down in history books, that make a difference for the body of human knowledge. For the next decade, New Horizons will sail deeper into the cosmos. Scientists here at Johns Hopkins have yet to identify its next target, but Vlad, it will be another billion miles or more from Earth. It is such a remarkable achievement. Mark Strassman, thank you.